I am sure you all have experienced getting a hair in food or a piece of plastic, glass or a pest and insect, worms etc. Alternatively, it could be a matter of health concerns while eating outside such as omitting, stomach disturbances and so on. Choking, injury or other adverse health outcomes are likely if a person eats the foreign material or object by accident. Yes, this is a hazard that causes a foodborne illnesses. Foodborne illnesses affects millions of people each year, but the vast majority of cases remain unreported. There are three types of food safety hazards. A physical hazard is an object found in food. It may enter the food at any stage of food chain, but is most commonly found in manufacturing or preparation stage. The risk could range from low to severe. Hair, a piece of plastic, paper, cloth, fingernails and other similar items fall into the low range category. High risks are those that could result in severe injury. Name a few, pest droppings, insects and their body parts, glass, stones or pebbles, metallic and wooden pieces and so on. Now how can this be prevented? Inspect the raw materials both when they are received and when they are used. Maintain good hygiene practices. To eliminate source of physical hazards such as worn out or chipped equipment, establish an effective maintenance schedule for the facilities equipment. Effective training programs for employees are necessary to reduce such risks. The next one is biological hazard. It occurs when food gets contaminated by microbes which are responsible for majority of foodborne illness outbreaks. Biological hazards pose the greatest threat to food safety. These organisms have a potential to harm human health including infection, intoxication and even death. Microbes include certain bacteria, virus, parasites and fungi. Here are the factors affecting the growth of biological hazard. The abbreviation to recall these factors is fat tom, where F stands for food, A represents for acidity, T refers for time, and the T stands for temperature, O stands for oxygen and M means for moisture. Now how these biological hazards can be prevented? Thermal treatment that kills or slows the growth of microorganisms. To prevent microbial growth, maintain the storage temperature at the recommended level. Cleaning and sanitization program that works. Hand washing protocols must be followed. A chemical hazard is when a chemical comes in contact with food. Chemicals can be beneficial and are purposefully used with some foods such as pesticides on fruits and vegetables. The presence of a chemical may not always represent a hazard. The amount of the chemical may determine whether it is hazard or not. Three types of chemical hazards can be identified. Naturally occurring chemicals including allergens. These chemicals are derived from a variety of plants and animals. Nuts, milk, seafood, corn, peanuts, brinjal, wheat and some fish species such as tuna fish are just a few examples. In recent years, the number of cases of food allergy has increased and hence has been classified as a separate food allergen. A food allergy is an immune system reaction that occurs soon after eating a certain food. Consumption of certain foods may lead to allergic reactions in the humans. Even a small amount of the allergy causing food can cause signs and symptoms like bloating, enlarged airways and more. There is no cure for a food allergy. Avoidance is the only way to prevent a reaction. The second one is intentionally added chemicals. These chemicals are intentionally added to food at some point during food's growth and distribution. Intentionally added chemicals are safe when used at established safe levels but can be dangerous when those levels are exceeded. Examples include additives, food color, preservatives, etc. The last one is unintentionally or incidentally added chemicals. Chemicals can become part of food without being intentionally added. These incidental chemicals might already be in a food ingredient when it is received. To mention few agricultural chemicals like pesticides, insecticides, fungicides, fertilizers, antibiotics, growth hormones, etc. The other chemicals like acids, sanitizers, alcohols, lubricants, paints, etc. Now how can this be prevented? Establishing an effective chemical control program in your facility can reduce or eliminate chemical hazards in food. Train employees to follow safe handling and application procedures for sanitization, maintenance or pesticides chemicals. Store chemicals in designated areas away from food ingredients, packaging and food contact surfaces. Pest control should be performed by professionals and chemical residues in incoming food products should be controlled. Other actions that may be taken include the use of approved chemicals only, keeping of an inventory of all chemicals, colorings and additives, frequent review of current procedures and formulations as well as audits of chemical use, adequate employee training and in-house testing.
it is also a good policy to keep up with new regulations a little precaution is worth a pound of care there is a minefield of physical biological and chemical hazards that can contaminate our food supply it is important to recognize these hazards so they can effectively accurately advise people on how to prevent them have you faced such experiences with any of these hazards do share in the comment section thank you very much we'll be back with a new topic soon